Let's learn about color mixing with the pastel brush. We've made primaries and secondary colors, but you can use these colors to make more by mixing them together. While we could use charcoal to do this, let's expand our brushes with the pastel brush. Soft pastel works a lot like the vine charcoal we've been using, but has a texture. Now I've opened up a new canvas. So I'm gonna go over here to my brush, and if you don't have your brush selected, let's say we have here, you can select the brush, and then once the brush is selected, if you select it again, you'll get your brush library. And we're gonna go over here to sketching. And in sketching, you'll head towards the bottom and usually there you'll find the soft pastel, which is what we're gonna be using. And tap out of there. I'm gonna set this to 100% opacity. And let's try to go for about 10% size. Pick a nice color, I'm gonna use a brown. Now try painting and you'll see you get a texture of pastel paper underneath it, which is a little different than our vine charcoal. Now I'm gonna undo that mark with a two touch tap. We're gonna make a color wheel of last lesson's colors. We'll start with red, so click on red in the palette. Draw a red splotch on the canvas at the top middle. Change your color to yellow. Add yellow to your canvas. And make it so they're just touching but not going over each other. Change the color to green. Add green below the yellow. Now we'll do cyan the same way. Then blue. Then magenta. Pick up the smudge tool with the soft pastel. So we'll go in here. Tap again, go to sketching, go to the bottom here, hit soft pastel. And again, I'm gonna use 100% opacity on the smudge tool and we're gonna try again for about 10%. The smudge tool does more than what we've been using it for monochrome. It will pick up the color you start with and deposit it in the color you go into. So to mix, you get more of the first color than the second color. So we're gonna do this in two directions. Starting from red, swipe back and forth into the yellow. And then do the same thing from the yellow into the red. That gives us two different kinds of orange because one has more yellow and more, or more red. I can do the same thing with yellow and green. And then again with green and cyan. And then cyan and blue. Blue and magenta. And finally, magenta and red. You mixed color from one color to another. You can also lighten a color by adding white. So drag from the center into each color and swipe back and forth. I'm gonna drop my brush size a little bit here, down to maybe about six. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can do this a little more easily. And what we're gonna do is just take white and I'll start over here with the blue and just drag in from the blue some white. Then from white to magenta don't have a lot of red here, so this is going to be a little more hard, but I'll go in like that. And then yellow, green, cyan. And you get lighter colors. You can do the same by combining a dark color. You can use black, but black by itself is not very interesting. Instead, use the warm and cool dark colors to give your work more character. In the layers picker, make two more layers by duplicating the original colors layer. So slide it over and you'll see where it says duplicate and I'm gonna hit duplicate and then slide it over again and hit duplicate. I'm going to label one warm select the other and rename that one cool. I'll hide the other two layers so cool is the only one selected. 
I'll select the cool dark in the color palette and then make a circle inside of that, like so, that's dark enough that I've covered the whole thing. And now I can go to a blend and blend that up with the colors beneath it. And you get a set of darker colors. Now let's repeat this for the warm colors. So I'll go into my layers, hide cool, show warm, and select it. Change to a warm color. Make the circle, and then blend in that circle. And you get a different set of colors from your cool colors. All right, let's go make one more layer. So I'm gonna go back into here. I'm gonna hide my warm layer and just hit add. And let's try applying this with making a little bit of a cup. So I'm gonna start with my warm brown, which I already have, and make an outline of a cup on the new layer. So I'm gonna zoom this down a little bit. And make a rough shape of a cup like that. Now I'm gonna make this an orange cup. So I'm gonna go over here to red. And we'll maybe move this up again. And brush in some red. And I can spread that out a little bit if I want. Then I'll put some yellow lines over that and I can spread that out. And it blends into orange. And I'll take that all the way to the edge here. We'll pull up some white and add white to that one edge. And then blend that together to make a lighter color. Go into my cup. Like that. You get a darker color if you use the opposite temperature from your base color. So we've got a warm orange here, so I'm gonna use my cool color here for my dark. And I'll go ahead and make a shade side of the cup over here, so that's just a little darker. Like so. And I can blend that up a bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, I haven't done the top, so we can do the same thing with the top. I'll probably need to bring down my brush size a little bit here and my blender size. And we can do the same thing we just did. I'll start with the red again. Add a little yellow. Blend that all together. I may need a little more red on that one. So if you get too much, you can always put more red in. And lighten it up on this side with some white. Like that. And maybe some cool gray for my final shadow over here. I'm gonna zoom out. We got a pretty good cup. I can actually put in a shadow of, throw in my cast shadow here. And you have an orange cup. I've shown you how to do mixing right in your drawing and come up with colors and shade as you work. Your challenge this week is to try some doodles like this of cups, of cylinders, of balls and boxes. If you want to get adventurous, try some still life objects from previous lessons. You're on your way to using color. Next week, we'll use an old school method for mixing and using colors, so be sure to subscribe to get all the lessons.